another young lady who is competing in her sixth world championship. 18-year-old Denise Bielman from Switzerland with her world-famous move that uh, people have tried to copy but nobody has ever really done it. Denise Bielman is in second place. She was fourth at the compulsory figure, second in the short program, and uh, looks like she can move right to the top here. Not only a beautiful skater, but a strong jumper, as we saw there, with her first elegantly executed triple sob down. I love the style. Although she has all the difficult jumps, she still skates with a very feminine flair. A triple up. Very, very difficult. It's the first one we saw in the ladies' competition so far. a difficult jump, but more important, I think, it was the classy way she performed the overall performance. But the difficult jumps count as well, and here we see Denise doing that triple up jump. The only one, although she had her foot wrapped around, she pulled out of it beautifully and skated one of the classier performances that I've ever seen. I agree, Otto. This Fuelman spin has become the Swiss, na Swiss national emblem, I'm sure, and every skater in the world tries it. Now watch, this was the spin from the middle of the program. She begins with the combination of the twist 
hanging on to the blade. The arm comes in, she pushes her head around to try to increase the rotation speed, then up she goes, changes position once again, grabs the blade further, pulls it right up, and this is the part that no one else in the world can do. Today's bill and now, here's the technical merit, 5-7. Two five nine to six and eight and eight and nine and two five eight. And John, I think you'll see even slightly higher marks for artistic impression because that's where she really shone. I agree, Otto. Even the stroking, just plain forward stroking or backwards, was done with such flair, such style. It meant as much to her during the program as every jump. And now, here we have a row of five nines. Look at them with two five eight thrown in. So Denise Gilman looks like she'll be wearing a crown home this evening. 